more accurate. Well, hello. Hi. Uh, let me just turn off this uh, new pretty. age thing. Take that one. Doing. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not. New age. You know what the new age is? It's, uh, I don't know. Anyway, hi. <laughs> it's good to see you again. My name is Todd. No, it is not. Do you feel the sadness? <laughs> Let's just explore this moment right now, okay? So I feel a little awkward, and there's an intensity about me. You know what? These glasses, I notice, yeah, they're, they're very big. Um, I've been told I shouldn't try to go without glasses. So anyway, why is this relevant? Why does this matter? Why is this good? Well, uh, only you know the answer to that. <laughs> That's for your girl. That look I just gave you. Just pretend your girl is accepting that look. Oh, I just had a little, uh, a little David Lynch moment there. Anyway, hi. Hi, welcome back. Um, this is my entertainment video. I just, I don't know. The thing I'm trying to do, <laughs> it's not flattering at all, dude. All right. This lighting is not the best. Let me try to move over here. Oh, wow, I look like a million tired dogs. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, what's up? What's up, dude? That's the voice I use when I play Destiny PvP. I'm like this, uh, like, 13-year-old angry half-black, half-Italian kid, and I'm like, you know, that's normal. So yeah, I'm like, hey, that's, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. I get really into it, you know? Man, I really don't like the way my face looks right now. Is that just me? Or do you agree with me? Don't I look f like Frankenstein right now? You were just thinking that, right? And then you were like, holy shit, he just said what I was exactly thinking. That's so crazy. <laughs> I do, But I do, right? It's a good call, right? And look, now I look like uh, Doogie Hauser back when he was, you know, a kid. Because of the, the shape of my head and the, the angle. Right? Angle? Is angle a good word to use? Dude, alright, so the point of this video is I'm trying to seem interesting and charismatic. So I think I've succeeded, obviously, there. But the point, I'm tr now I have to try to make sense or do something that's worth listening to that isn't totally self-involved because my therapist says being self-involved turns people off and I need to learn how to socialize more. Dude, yeah, you're not feeling that. You're not feeling when I do that. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. So anyway, um, am I a robot or am I human? Sometimes I don't know. I once thought I was born a robot. I was like, am I, am I a robot? She's like, well, I'm not sure, sweetie. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Ask your dad. He's like, Dad, am I a robot? He's like, I'll beat you like a robot. And I was like, all right, let's just drop this. I'll, let's, I'm just going to go to my room now and just fucking play video games. And, that, and hence, that's where my habit started. So, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so freaking dead. I don't know. Wow, <laughs> I'm tripping off myself right now. I'm trying to understand myself, you know? I mean, I understand that, you know, sometimes I have an aggressive arrogance that sort of runs me, you know? It, it, it disrupts my thinking, and I start to feel all aggro, and uh, that's just what a man is like. He's like, he has these moments of, like, awkwardness, and then other moments where he's like, Oh yeah, I'm confident, uh. And then he's like, uh, 
just kind of obnoxious, right? And that's kind of like, it's like very self-important, right? And then you're like, just all into your own vibe, but you don't even know what your vibe is. You're like not really even clear on it, but you're like, yeah, dude, that's me, dude. But then, do you even know what I'm talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me just start over. Okay, so the, the thing, all right. Yeah, well, anyway, ugh, fuck. I'm having a crisis right now. I just realized like how fucking stupid this whole thing is, right? And my face is just tripping me out. It's like, it's almost like, is it offensive? My face, like, it's like offensive. It's like, all right, uh, you know what? No one cares. You don't care. That's not the point. Right? That's not interesting. Who cares? All right? Yeah. Like, I look like I, I've been on meth for 10 years. That's not... Who gives a shit? The point is, women like all kinds of guys, right? Am I... Am I do I have low self-esteem, dude? I don't know. The point is, I'm trying to make, is that I just want to... What are my opinions? Don't I have... Do I, have I, 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 I want to talk about something interesting. So yeah, Donald Trump, um, no, I can't think of anything to say about that, except that if anyone wants to elect me, I just, I, I want to think of the most uh, challenging thing I could have said there that would have like put me out of my comfort zone and like that was it. It was like, what if I was running for president? Because then it like brings up all my low self-esteem and like, well, what, how would I, how would I take control? What would my leadership, you know, what would I do? And then like, I, but then, so yeah, um, but what, what happened then was that I realized like, I just don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, am I president material? I, I don't know that I'm even material at all. Maybe I'm ethereal. <laughs> But anyway, um, just bring your girl over here and we'll talk. Not me and you, you mean your girl. And my speed freak face is gonna be all fucking hella hard. She's gonna be like, wow, you're, you're like my dad. Do you wanna be my dad? And I'll be like, yeah, dude. Hey, look, I may look like I've been on meth, but I just drink a lot of coffee and I know all the good spots where we can get a nice cup. I look like Ed McMahon, don't I? Not Ed McMahon. What's that guy's name? The WWE guy? So yeah, um, this has been really great. This is my digital diary. Um, welcome to the show. I'll see you guys next week. And uh, I, I'm sorry. Should I apologize? I don't know. I don't, I, would I waste your time? But you'll see me again, dude. And I'll totally tell you all about my real life. Like, not this stupid eccentric crap that I do. Like, no one, like, whatever. I don't know. Like, the elephant in the room, like, I'm just, I'm a weird guy, whatever. The point is, I have a lot to say, right? I want to talk about, I want to talk about your girl and what she means to me. All right, give me a call. I mean, what? See you next week. Thanks. Enjoy the show. And, uh. Okay, okay, uh, I promise that next week I'll talk about something, like, worth listening to. It'll be relevant, and we'll talk about <laughs> things in the world, or, uh, whatever, like, talk about your girl, what she means to me. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Don't do drugs. You'll end up like me.